So, I've always had an interest in music philosophy. Like all the analysis that I do on the channel, where does it come from? Because there has to be some underlying rules for the music, how we perceive it and appreciate it. But how does it all fit together? Why is it that we think th some things are more beautiful than others? And where do emotions come into the picture? So I've read a lot of other music philosophers of modern time. And I started to write to kind of follow my own thoughts. And I felt I wanted to compile all these other theories and models that are good and useful into one coherent framework that explains how it works for me. And I basically ended up writing 25,000 words or 79 pages. Quite heavy topic, non-fiction stuff, abstract reasoning. But I tried to make it accessible and build from the ground up. And you don't need to know any music theory. It's more like answering the question of where does the theory come from. How music works, an aesthetic framework, reconciling form and content is their somewhat pretentious title. But it's 15 chapters that go through what music is and how it works, like on several different levels. A lot of it is just referencing these other models, but it's also my own packaging of model. And basically I've divided music into four levels of increasing complexity using emergence and valence as two core mechanisms for music perception and understanding. It's now up as an ebook in PDF form on gumroad.com for $10. You also have the discount code SECRETSEEKER for 15% off all products, because I also sell the Simple Solutions Easy Piano Arrangements on Gumroad. But all text on this framework is also up for free on Sonata Secrets website in more like blog forms. So you can check it out there if you want and read it. Uh, but if you enjoy reading, consider purchase the ebook to support the channel, of course. And I might even do some videos on these concepts and topics in the future, but I just felt that I needed to get them right in text form first. So to finish this video, I'll read some of the introduction chapters so you can see what it's about. But the most important pieces of the puzzle came later, outside the academy, when I followed only my interest of understanding without the pressures of assignments or thesis production. I read and evaluated the central thesis in turn by leading music philosophers in our time. Stephen Davis, Gerald Levinson, Roger Schrudon, Jennifer Robinson, Leonard Mayer, Julian Johnson and Patrick Jasleen, with the ambition of finding the tools to be able to explain my own experience of music. That is what I have attempted to consolidate in this framework. And to some extent I am only referencing these important philosophers who have produced legitimate and useful models. But somehow I also felt that no existing framework was enough by itself, because they all consider only part of the whole. Music psychologist Patrick Jaslin's recent expose on music and emotion from 2019 is one of the most illuminating books I have ever read, but it does only scratch the surface of the philosophical side of why we appreciate music for things that are not emotional, which is like the other side of the yin and yang of an overall music appreciation. Most philosophers' theories are quite locally limited to certain perspectives or phenomena, for example Davies 1994 on emotional expression, Mayer 1956 on musical expectations, Johnson 2002 on the virtues of classical music. Roger Scruton is probably the most ambitious author who tries to create a unified account, 1997, and I share many of his premises and conclusions, but not all of them. So my contribution here is to compile models that resonate with my own experience and what I understand of other people's experiences into one coherent framework. The core for this is a model of four levels of emergence that I present in chapter 5 and go through properly in chapters 6 to 12. Taken together they cover all sides of music, from the vibrations it can be reduced to, to the emotions we feel while listening, to the social situation of where we listen to it. It all comes together with the two key mechanisms of emergence and valence. When elements come together on one level and form units, those units attain a new set of properties on a secondary emergent level. One such emergent property is the valence of meaning something to us humans other than it is. A melody has a direction and wants to go somewhere. A harmonic progression has an emotional charge by the way it's positioned within the system of tonality. The return of structural material means something, both in reference to itself only and by way of convention. The intuitive understanding of all this valence is the very thing that is developed when we train to be musicians or when we just play music. With this framework, hopefully it can also be understood consciously and rationally, which in turn, I believe, 
will make any path towards further music involvement clearer.